Hi everybody, I'm Petri Piirainen, a CEO founder and chief technology officer of Softcolor company. Welcome to this video lecture about Softcolor's 15 years photonics and color science story. This lecture is part of the University of Eastern Finland's photonics applications course and lecture series. So since 2005, we have made photo editing automation software. Our photonic journey is likely different from traditional optics focused companies which you have met during this lecture series. During this lecture, I will tell you what we have learned about the developing and selling photonics applications. Okay, but first, a little bit about my history with photonics and software engineering. So I have a Master of Science degree from Computer Science here from the University of Eastern Finland. I studied Computer Science in the Digital Signal uh, Processing program and then I had mandatory applied mathematics and physics as a minor studies. With these physics studies, there was a lot of photonics and color science courses. My software engineering and software business career was a little bit longer because I started in software business in, when I was in the high school in the 90s. In 2005, we founded Softcolor OU, and since that we have developed faster, easier, and better photo editing automation software. So first, I would like to talk to you a little bit about the photonics applications, the beauty and the beast of the engineering photonics applications. So we have learned that developing useful applic photonics application is very hard and requires a lot of engineering and math knowledge. It is because photonics applications, software or hardware, usually have to quickly process tons of data and calculation. So what are the key elements of good photonics applications or every photonics applications. So my favorite thing with photonics is, is that, that all photonics applications contain four types of engineering. There is physics, mathematics, electrical engineering and computer science. But there is also one thing which is very fascinating. All photonics applications require a lot of arts too. It's not just engineering or science but there is arch in every photonics application. There is image quality, industrial design, user experience, user interactions, and user interface. And this mixture of arts, science, and engineering is my main topic for you today. So my topics of this lecture are that short introduction to our company, our history, our products, and then at that how we have mixed photonics with color science and software engine. Then what we have learned about photonics applications, and there will be also a bonus homework for you. So let's take a quick look to our company, product, history, and te technology. So what we are doing, so our main task and main business is that we make faster, easier and better photo editing automation software. So we have founded Softcolor in 2005, so our company is now a teenager. We have three products, Automate the Server, Automate the Pro and Photo EQ. Our headquarters is located in Joensuu, Finland. So what is our business? We sell our software in the internet. All our products are free to try before buying. So our customer sector is mainly about the printing industry, photographers, newspaper ad agencies, repro, and there's also a lot of real estate, car retail, online stores, uh, and, and the customers too. And of course, there is, we make tools for photo editors, office workers, and developers. Our customers are mainly from the English-speaking world, but we have a lot of customers from Germany and Spain too. So what is our research and development? So all our research and development is that make 
our uh, software working faster, easier and better so that they are the best uh, photo editing automation software on the world. That's our research and development. So all our applications use the same engine, soft color engine. It is the brains and the heart of our software. So uh, soft color engine does the all photo editing automation tasks, color correction, image editing and color management. So to get this automation working, so we have combined computer vision, color science, computer graphics, digital signal processing and machine learning techniques in the one package. So this combination of uh, different engineering tools has made our photo editing automation to work very well on all kinds of photos. So let's take a quick look at how does our automatic color correction and, and photo enhancement technology works in real world. So we can fix white balance, exposure and contrast problems automatically in a single steps. So and on and what we had uh, how it works so we will you will get very natural and good looking results. So our engine and color correction works very well also with challenging photos excellent here so you will we will try to fix as good as possible and we are especially happy with our white balance algorithms so it fix and gives very natural results or for all kind of situation and lighting conditions and our engine works all kind of cameras too. So you can use a high-end camera or some mobile phones or some very low-cost cameras. And one thing what we have wanted to do that you will never lose any shot. So we try and we can fix almost every photo. So you will never lose any shot. And then it's time for soft color and photonics. So in one sentence, what is the soft color doing with photonics? Is that that we are processing colors, not pixels. So that there's the one biggest challenge with photonics and software engineering, as I said, and for us, it has been that good photo is the combination of art and science. And this is the most challenging part for all to, to, to us and our competitors who try to make as good as possible photo editing automation. So how we can get results that make our customers happy? Because we all have our opinion about what are the good colors. And, but for this problem, we have managed to create an excellent solution. And there, Photonics has helped us a lot. So if we talk about the traditional photo editing, so there is photonics, all imaging, all cameras, all displays, all color, computer graphics algorithms of, uh, and into, into low level, they are all based on the photonics theory and, and color science. So traditionally, traditional photo editing, there is pixels first. But we have made a different solution. So we have changed traditional photo editing. So we have built our engine to take colors first. And this is the solution which has helped us to make better photo editing automation. So we have made a color correction automation that has tools for art and science. So our applications offer tools to our customers to combine the art and science with photo editing automations. So there's first the science part. We have made layer-based processing. It used the statistical analysis to get, find out the, uh, the best white balance, exposure and contrast corrections. We use metadata analysis to, to enhance automatic color correction. We utilize machine vision with computer, uh, machine learning. But we have also made tools for the arts. 
so that how you and to get photos what you like. First, we have made this color grading for mass photo processing. So color grading is this uh, film industry technology where you can feel, change the look and feel the photos. And this works for one or 1000 photos. So we have also made uh, selective color adjustments and our workflows, they are open and there are no limitations. You can mix with your current tools and technologies too. So what are our benefits? Because we are processing colors, not pixels. Our software has more accurate automatic color and tone correction. We have batch color grading for photos. And we offer much easier and more accurate customization to, to, to the automatic color correction results. So let's take a look inside to our engine. The first thing is that our engine uses layer-based processing. So we have uh, put all different color tone correction, color management tasks and tools into separate layers. So you will have full control all color correction steps. And currently we have six layers. First is the rich dynamics enhancer. Second is luminosity enhancer. Then we have white balance tool, natural color temperature, exposure and contrast. And finally is the color grade. And all these steps makes the process set fold. And you will have full control how much and how all these layers are doing uh, color correction automation to your photos. So one of the key elements for the color and, to color and tone correction automation is that spectral illumination estimation technology from standard RGB photos. So we use same parameters for the computer the computer's automatic color correction and the human. So we use spectral illumination uh, estimation detection technology to get these parameters. And then we have two estimations too. We use and analyze metadata, EXIF data, camera data, and then we use machine learning for this estimated data. And this gives us the parameters. It tells that how much uh, engine has to fix white balance, how much it has to fix uh, tone, exposure, contrast, and dynamics. And the one big thing is that we use, and you can use, the same parameters than our automation. So it means that if, uh, uh, if you change something, for example, white balance, color temperature, is changed the same parameters than the automatic correction used for the full automation. So this has made possible to get faster and more accurate automated color and tone correction. And this has been possible. What what uh, what we have done is that have we have mixed this spectral illumination data, which is the estimate. Of course, because it's coming from the RGB images. But when we have mixed that with computer graphics technology, we have get this very work, very well working color correction automation technology. So what we have learned during these 15 years about that, what is requirements for the good photonic software or hardware? And I hope that this helps you for your photonics career or photonics business. So there are six things which we have learned uh, to, for the, what is require requirements for the good photonics applications. And number one is that the software is the glue. So you need to have good software to put your things together. And then there is optical engineering, software engineering, electrical engineering. And what is the most important thing is that user experience engineering. Because all photonics applications, hardware or software, 
they are working with vision. So we, you, everybody, we are watching through our eyes these photonics applications. So the user experience is very important for good applications. But there is one challenge which, which is always with, with photonics applications, is that the battery and CPU, the processing power limitations. If camera, when cameras are getting better, there is tons of data. And what, if there is ton, ton, tons of data to process, it means that it requires more CPU power. And, and that requires more power limitation, especially for the mobile devices. So this is, this is a challenge and this is the, the hard part. So you have to always balance with being processing power and data limitation with the photonics applications. So then because this is university lecture, so there is a bonus homework for you. So during the last years when I have had the same presentation, there has been a lot of questions that what are the good uh, resources to start or improve or, or learn about the entrepreneur career with photonics. So here is two good resources to watch or read. So the first tip and resource is the excellent halt and catch fire TV series. It's about 40 hours to watch and it's the makers of the Mad Men. The, the nice thing with Halt and Catch Fire series is that it's, it's an excellent and extremely realistic business world TV series. So it's, a, it, it's the story about some players in the 80s who started with the personal computers and how they evolved, how this personal computer revolution evolved, and then and then there was finally the, the internet, when internet came and internet business came. So this is quite unknown series. It's filmed from 2014 to 2017, but now it's available all streaming services. And for Photonics, this is very excellent series because this covers a lot of software and hardware startup and business stories and there is a lot of things what I've learned and you will learn from this series there's about venture capital bootstrapping human resources risk management and when you watch this series you notice that risk management is number one for your business then there's of course this life uh, work-life balance and there's also very interesting about the, the little stuff Dual evidence processes, intellect, IPR, intellectual properties like patents, and then there's also a very accurate process how to do revenge engineering legally. There's also interesting to see that, that the, how the life and business and world is different from the Fortune 500 or startup scam. And one thing is that because it's, this is very historically accurate series. So there's a lot of 80s and 90s retro computing and nostalgia too. So I really recommend you to watch this series. So the second tip is the book. So this is also um, available as a paperback or ebook or also audiobook from Audible. The book is Masters of the Doom. It's the story of the ID software, the makers of the Wolf, Wolf 3D, Doom and Quake computer games. And also this book, when you, if you watch this uh, Halt and Catch Fire, you can see that this Master of Doom book has been the forefront before. They have used a lot of things what are told in this book. So this is book from, uh, this has been published 2003. And this is excellent resources, how to do software business. And also especially interesting that how small teams can change the world. And for the photonics, there's very interesting stuff. So that how ID software, how they use the latest research topics from computer science, computer graphics to make them games better. 
So that is very, very interesting stuff. So I, I think you should read or listen to this book too. So that was our 15-year story with software engineering, photonics and color science. I hope that you have learned something new for your photonics career or business. And for the end, the short summary of the main topics of this lecture. So good photo is always, and good image is always combination of the art and science. Software is the glue for the photonics applications. And the, the, the most important thing to remember that photonics applications is always mixture of art, science and engineering. So thank you for watching, watching this video lecture. I hope you enjoyed and learned new. So if you have comments or feedback or you want just hello, hey, so hello, so just drop us a message. So thank you.